Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, today's devotion will begin in uh, Matthew chapter 5. Um, we're going to be at verse 13. It's a very familiar scripture. And uh, it says, You are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it loses its flavor, if it's lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. Verse 14, it says, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Um, you know, in this scripture, it's talking about uh, essentially that God has put us on the stand uh, for, for others to see, um, you know, us and to see uh, what God has done through us. And, uh, you know, basically, and I've mentioned this before, um, and, and even when we do uh, prayer time at church and stuff, uh, one of the things I always pray is, you know, God, that we represent you well. And, uh, and that's kind of the question today. Are we representing God well um, with the, the influence that he's given us? Um, it's so easy to focus in on ourselves. It's so easy to, to get caught up in, in our own agendas whether it's intentional or, or unintentional, um, but we need to make sure that we're checking ourselves and, uh, and doing the best that we can with what God has given us and to represent Him well uh, because we are His representation right now on earth. He has given us uh, a platform, so to speak, and, and how we respond to things, how we act around people, uh, even in good situations, bad situations, whatever it is, uh, how we represent God um, is is the influence that others see. And uh, if we don't represent God in, in a good way, then you know what? Then we're, we're hurting our witness. We're hurting our testimony. But God has given us everything that we have for a reason. And, uh, and so, you know, if we're in a certain situation, we need to make sure that we're representing God uh, in the best possible way. If we go over to uh, 1 Corinthians um, chapter 10, verse 23, uh, it says, uh, You say, I'm allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. You say, I'm allowed to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. Don't be concerned for your own good, but for the good of others. Um, you know, uh, as a growing up uh, in ministry or being a youth pastor back in the day and, and now helping out with young adults, um, a lot of times people want rules and guidelines and and they want to know how close they can get to that edge without uh, going over the limit whether they say that or not you know especially in dealing with high schoolers and, and things like that they want to know rules um, and they they pretty much push the envelope on those rules they get as close to the edge as possible um, and, and that's not where God's called us to live um, but a lot of times it's like okay how far can I get without messing up and in this situation God saying, you know, through his scripture that just because you can do something and it technically not be wrong doesn't mean that it's beneficial for you or for others to do that. And, uh, and I think that's a big thing that we need to focus in on is so many times we worry about just ourselves. But if we do something or we respond a certain way, even though it technically may not be one of the sins or something like that, um, you know, we need to make sure that we're not causing other people to stumble by how we act or react or what we do or where we go or, or what we watch or what we, you know, choose to listen to on the radio or whatever. Um, are we representing God the best way? Are we responding when things go downhill at, at our job or, or when things break or whatever is going on, whether we get frustrated or whatever, are we still representing God to the best of, the, of our, our ability? And, uh, and so, that's kind of what we're going. What we talked about today, um, you know, what are we doing to represent uh, God in the best way possible? We are the salt of the earth. We are uh, we are basically the light of the world. And if we are the light of the world, if we're projecting who Jesus is and and what Jesus has done for them, uh, are we doing the best that we can with what we've been given? So let's pray. God, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for all the blessings. And God, I just pray that you just order our steps in every way. Uh, God, that we represent you well in everything that we do and everything that we say. Uh, God, with everything that you've given us, God, we use it to represent you well and that we place you first in our lives. 
and uh, keep us safe throughout the day. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a great day. Mm -hmm.